Dear students, today we will discuss the synthesis of chloroquine. Chloroquine, as you know, the it belongs to the category of anti-malaria, as we have discussed in anti-malaria. But uh, due to its mechanism or its action, it belongs to number of therapeutic category. Means it can be used in the as rheumatoid arthritis. It can be used in a different uh, immune system like that. Uh, uh, apart from these things, we will discuss the synthesis. In synthesis, we, we uh, would like to have a different steps. That is, uh, first uh, three steps. What are three steps? Try to understand. First, first one is the cunolin. Uh, cunolin ring system. And second one, side chain synthesis and third one that is um, uh, condensation condensation of both means uh, ring system and side chain ring system and side chain okay now Try to understand. We will uh, we will discuss in the three steps the synthesis of chloroquine. That is the quinolin ring system formation or synthesis. Second one the side chain synthesis. Third one the condensation of both means quinolin ring system and side chain. Okay. Now come to the step first. This is our step first. Step first uh, that is the synthesis one. Uh, synthesis of quinolin derivative. Okay, or quinolin ring system. Try to understand this is the R uh, in, in starting material that is uh, we can say 1, 2 and 3. 3 position have a chloro that is the aniline that is the chloro 3 chloro aniline. Okay, now it is the uh, which molecule is that uh, try to understand how we can uh, understand this structure and try to understand. Suppose the uh, CH2 and CH2 and C double OH and C double OH. This is the su uh, succinic acid. What is this succinic acid? Okay. Try to understand if I will substitute these OH by um, ethyl moiety then it will be ester. Okay. Means CH2 and CH2 C double O C two H five and C O C two H five. Okay. Uh, this is our uh, ethyl succinate means it is the ester. Okay, try to understand ethyl succinate. Now, ethyl succinate is okay. Now, uh, one uh, this uh, one of these two carbon will be substituted by ketone group that is oxo. Then that the structure will be formed by this one. Try to understand this one is our uh, one part. Okay. And this carbon is substituted by ketone group that is okay. And C double uh, OH this is the our C um, this part uh, and CH two is the this part. Okay, means uh, what is the name? This is our ethyl succinate. Uh, why what we have introduced in this that is the oxo means additionally functional group that is the oxo and uh, oxo and ethyl succinate. Okay, I think will be it will be clear to all of you. It is simply um, uh, addition reaction or nucleophilic addition reaction. How it is as you know the uh, this is the our amino group amino group uh, and at the same time, this one is our ketone group or we can say carbonyl functional group. Do you know this, uh, this is reaction? Amino group or amino derivative have a carbon carbonyl group. Both have a nucleophilic addition reaction. That is our reaction number. First, nucleophilic, nucleophilic addition reaction. Okay. Uh, means uh, similarly, uh, H two O is the removal means oxygen and hydrogen will be removed and have a double bond that is our adduct. Okay, this one the our adducts at the same time after getting the addition addition or adduct product we will get um, go through by uh, at one two fifty degree temperature heating. 
and due to this heating uh, there will be a cyclization or this will be cyclization and removal of this uh, ethoxy and H from this side H from this side and it will be ring closure means the, that is second step that is cyclization that is cyclization okay this undergoes the cyclization here quinoline ring system is formed or quinoline derivative you can say quinoline derivative okay now try to understand next uh, this is a functional group, group we don't need in our quinoline rings or uh, chloroquine structure then how we can remove this uh, this is the do you know the aster group aster group uh, uh, aster group is hydrolyzed by mean of NUH by mean of NUH which results in removal of C2H5OH as is this part this part at the same time as we are going for, um, for alkaline hydrolysis which give the uh, salt of sodium okay uh, that salt is acidified by uh, acidified by HCl which gives the carboxylic group means this um, uh, that salt respective salt comes uh, um, uh, converts into respective acid okay means at the same time that is NaCl removal and HCl is used means this step is known as hydrolysis mainly third one is the hydrolysis of ester means this is this step is hydrolysis to the respective acid if carboxylic group is heated or uh, at high temperature then that carboxylic group removed as a carbon dioxide and form uh, that is the quinoline derivative um, uh, quinoline derivative okay now uh, and here we are uh, just uh, we have to remember that is chlorine and that is the chlorine and that is the chlorine okay and at the same time again we chlorine as we have taken the starting as a chlorine now try to understand this uh, this is the hydrolysis and this is the removal of co2 means it, uh, it is the removal of uh, co2 that is decarboxylation i mean to say reaction number four that is decarboxylation decarboxylation do you know carboxylation is the addition of carbon dioxide or decarboxylation carboxylation is the removal of carbon dioxide in last step as here we are getting the alcohol functional group we uh, we can easily convert into pocl3 reaction by mean of pocl3 that will be uh, introduction of chloro group means it is a simply nucleophilic substitution reaction that is our reaction number 5 that is nucleophilic nucleophilic substitution reaction okay this is the simply nucleophilic reaction substitution reaction as you do you know as you know the alcohol functional group undergo the nucleophilic substitution by mean of pocl3 by mean of pcl3 or by mean of socl2 uh, that uh, converts into oh group to alcohol group this is our quinoline uh, um, derivative which we would like to um, synthesize in step first that is a uh, step first just quick review of the all these Mm, steps of synthesis that is the three chloroaniline mm, reacted with three chloroaniline uh, reacted with oxoethyl succinate that is a simply nucleophilic addition reaction by removing water molecule that gives the ad adduct product if that adduct product is heated um, over uh, 250 degrees centigrade then removal of ethoxy and that adduct, adduct product undergo the cyclization that cyclized, cyclized product um, having the ester linkage that ester linkage removed by the addition of NUH uh, followed by HCl due to uh, which cause or which cause uh, hydrolysis of ester uh, to respective uh, uh, salt and HCl gives the respective acid. This is the carbon uh, CWOH and that uh, carboxylic group can be easily removed by mean of heating process which as a carbon dioxide removal uh, that reaction known as decarboxylation and decarboxylation gives the product of alcohol derivative that is phenol analog at that OH is easily converted into POCL3 reaction by mean of POCL3 that gives the chloro derivative. This is our in intermediate or we can say quinoline ring system that we will would like to um, take in the uh, 
third step that is the condensation of the both ring as well as side chain. Now, come to the next step that is the synthesis of side chain of uh, that is chloroquine. How we can synthesize that side chain followed by the condensation with the chloro uh, derivative of quinoline to form the chloroquine. Just uh, have a look. If I uh, see. This is our starting material for step second. Uh, we are going to step to, uh, two and followed by step third. Okay, step third. Just try to understand this is the structure. How uh, we can remember this one? Uh, do you know that is uh, acetoacetic? See, uh, try to understand. Do you know CS3, C double O, C2, H5? This one is the ethyl acetate. Okay. Ethyl acetate. Try to understand. If we will substitute this, this carbon, this carbon by mean of CS3, CO and CH2, C double O, C2, H5. This one the our ethyl acetate part and this one is the Acetone. Okay, means this is the uh, uh, what will be this aceto ethyl acetate means ethyl aceto acetate. Again, I am repeating. Try to understand ethyl aceto acetate. Okay, and just we have re uh, rewrite this structure. How uh, this part this part is the aceto part and this part is our ethyl. Uh, ethyl part and this one the our acetic acid try to understand just in this, uh, due to this situation this carbon have highly uh, acidic in nature which give the immediate release of proton due to both car um, uh, adjoining both carbon have oxygen that gives the electron pulling nature or that's why it gives the immediate release of uh, hydrogen which results the removal of HCl and this part the HCl removal and immediately attachment of this one. Okay. Means like this, this, these are the two CH2 and uh, nitrogen having uh, diethyl part and as all structure is same as good as. Means this is the uh, name of this molecule. How it is diethyl? Okay, diethyl. This one the amino, the amino. This one the ethyl. This one the ethyl chloride. Means this is chloride. Means diethyl amino ethyl chloride derivative. This is our uh, uh, intermediate, intermediate, uh, uh, mediate. Okay. Now, means first step is simply condensation here. Condensation reaction that is the removal of HCl. Okay. Now in next step, uh, as we have discussed in earlier stage, uh, it is uh, just uh, we are treating by mean of HCl. HCl which gives the first uh, reaction uh, means second uh, after this reaction that is second reaction that is the hydrolysis. Hydrolysis of this one which results uh, ester into acid. Okay, and we are giving to heat at the after followed by HCl, which gives the removal of this complete functional group that is the third reaction that is our decarboxylation reaction. Means here we are having two reactions first is the hydrolysis of ester, and second one that respective carboxylic group will come removed as a CO2 group removed as a CO2 which uh, gives the at this uh, uh, this part and uh, this gives the this part as a H position see try to understand this is our CS3 this is our CS3 this carbonyl group is in this one and this carbon has CH and one additional hydrogen from this carboxylic group then that these are the complete structure means this is our ketone derivative just try to remember ketone derivative. Okay, we are having ketone derivative, and at the same time we have we have the reaction with the um, ammonia. This one the our ammonia um, molecule. Ammonia molecule have a simply addition reaction means here nucleophilic addition reaction means after uh, this reaction that is the nucleophilic fourth reaction. Nucleophilic nucleophilic addition reaction. Nucleophilic after uh, nucleophilic addition reaction means uh, 
uh, NH group will be uh, introduced here after NH means nit nitrogen have double bond um, with carbon which that the, that is the uh, that situation amino form that amino form is reduced by hydrogen and rene nickel means that is the fifth reaction that is reduction of reduction of what amino group okay amino group is reduced to the respective amino group means here we are introducing in in place of ketone group we are introducing amino group this is our side chain this is our side chain means uh, if we are introducing the our first step intermediate that is our quinoline and derivative that is quinoline derivative means this one our quinoline derivative having chloro group and this one the chloro group and as you know it, it is very simple reaction in between chlorine and amino group that is the removal of HCl and simply that is the sixth reaction condensation reaction condensation reaction which the form for which leads to the formation of chloroquine chloroquine that is chloroquine how it is chloroquine fourth position have sub is substituted by the side chain and this is the first one for side chain and this carbon is at the side this part was and chloroquine is the our molecule which we are going to be synthesized means this whole step that is our second step that is the synthesis of side chain and this is our step fifth sorry step third reaction that is the condensation of means this is our side chain and side chain and this is our which one this one is our quinoline derivative and and this is last our product that is the chloroquine this is uh, all about the chloroquine just have a quick review on the, these steps that is the uh, this one our ethyl acetoacetate derivative, uh, derivative diethyl amino ethyl acid um, ethyl chloride have a quick uh, removal of hcl due to the uh, highly acidic nature of this carbon which result the adduct product or immediate uh, intermediate by mean of hydrolysis and followed by decarboxylation that complete removal of this ester linkage that which result the um, conversion um, product formation of ketone derivative as we have with that ketone group that ketone group easily converted into amino group by mean of reaction with the ammonia followed by the respective uh, reduction by mean of hydrogen in presence of rene nickel that uh, is the our side chain this side chain is condensed under goes condensation with the our quinoline derivative that is the uh, ring system and that chloro uh, quinoline derivative have the chloroquine ring system okay this is all about the synthesis of chloroquine in du uh, during your exam or university exam that's just simple question write the synthesis of chloroquine then you have to uh, elaborate all steps that is a step first step second and step third then in that situation you will get 100% mark